forget this is an adult doll collector's channel so if you are younger than 18 you need your parents permission to watch my channel hi guys i'm just sitting in the living room chilling and i went to walmart yesterday for my grocery run and i found these guys and so i bought these two guys and i'll show these to you just for their outfit so i thought just in an effort to play a little bit because I've been crafting but not necessarily playing with my dolls. I'm going to debox these dolls. I'm going to try their outfits on my Fashion Royalty Hobbs doll. So that's what we're doing right now. They're a white twill short and like a Bermuda lip short and some orange tennis shoes. <laughs> and a lovely ombre blue shirt that Velcro's in the back. So let's get that off of him. Let's try Declan. He is a monarch doll, and Declan has a slimmer physique than the prior Homs dolls. So that's why we're gonna try this on him first. There we go. Let's take his hands off. And his shorts. Okay, so these shorts do fit the monarch body they're gonna open up a little bit but i think you can probably get away with opening the velcro a little bit wider if you want them to sit but they're probably gonna open up in the back when you when you bend them but most of my dolls are on stand so it's really not an issue right now so we're gonna go ahead and tighten that up and then we'll put the shirt on him that measures up. And it's actually a perfect fit for Declan. And we will put his little espadrilles back on him. Put his hands back on. So this is a great fashion for Mr. Declan. There we go. And I'll get you a shot of them on their stands. And let's see. When I put my clothes up. I always make sure to refasten the Velcro on them so that the Velcro doesn't snag anything else it's stored with. I'll put it back in a Ziploc bag and we'll put these shoes and shorts to the side. And next we have Fashionista 138. And I have waited so long to buy him because I had to really make up my mind. I don't think he's the most attractive guy. And I'm just not real sure about this hair. I may end up keeping him. But the jury is out on that. So let's get him undressed. I mainly wanted him for this shirt. And yes, I do buy other dolls just for their clothing for my fr dolls in my existing barbie collection if i kept every fashionista that they made god i would not have any room in this house 
So let's see if we can get these shorts on one of these guys. Let's see. Let's do Preston. Let's see. I'm going to leave Preston's existing shoes on. I think I'm just going to switch out his. Little tank top here. Net in here getting on my nerves. All right, so I like this look on Preston. This tie dye shirt, he's looking very tropical. Great for lounging around the pool. Out of curiosity, let's see. Now I'm gonna leave his shoes and shorts on him because I don't think they're gonna fit as well because he has the traditional, the first run of the Homs body. But so now we know that these fashionista Ken clothes are a better fit for the new slimmer monarch body so that is the pretty much focus for my little redressing and then I have one other doll we'll leave that that also makes a cute little outfit these uh black and gray black distressed jean shorts with a rolled cuff here so that makes a fashion as well and we'll put those shoes there and then I have one last fashionista doll that I bought. She is number 126 and she's very tan, deeply tanned and she has this little tropical print sundress that I've been wanting. So that's what I bought her for. I bought her just for her fashion. So this one I'm gonna need some scissors to get her out of here. stretchy polyester dress here. And we will keep her little shoes. Her tennis shoes are like platform and they're like a pale yellow cream looking color. And I will probably keep her headband as well. So let's get that off of her. And she will be donated to a friend of mine that does the uh, Black Doll Affair in Savannah, Georgia. Her name is Niece McKenna. So she'll be put in the donation box for Niece. I may send her these guys as well. And let me find a doll for this dress to go on. Be right back. Okay, so now we have my little lemonade body, um, excuse me, lemonade Barbie head that I put on the, um, curvy dancer body. It's not an exact match, but it's really close. So she was the doll I had in mind when I saw this dress. She has a very uh, fun loving, fresh and flirtatious personality. I'm in frame. All right, let's get that fastened. I think I have a pair of yellow sandals I'm going to take from another doll. They may not be an exact match. Yellow 
sandals on. She's got a summery look going on. So she here she is with her fellow doll room inhabitants. And I like them in their new outfits. So that's my little play session for the day. Um, I did pick up a couple of fashionista fashions. I got this one, the girl power, the uh, pink sleeveless hoodie dress. And then I found this uh, baseball one in our Walmart. I only saw it one time, that's about a, maybe two years ago. And this little frock, the um, pink and peach lace dress with the ruffle around the top and it has the necklace and the purse. And then this last one has a black flower print top with uh, jean shorts, purple sunglasses, and what looks like it's supposed to be a faux leather fringe purse. So that's what I picked up on my little Walmart haul yesterday when I went to get groceries. All right, well, this concludes my little play session for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I did, and I'll see you back in the next clip. Bye.